Welcome back to my channel everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to do a comparison of the acrylic paints Golden, which is a very high-end wonderful paint, Liquitex Basics, Windsor Newton Galleria, and Daler Rowney uh, Systems 3. Golden is a high-end paint, a heavy-duty, uh, very good quality acrylic paint. These others are also very good quality and a more budget-friendly acrylic paint. So I want to see how they perform next to the Golden. We can't all afford to buy these paints. You go through paints a lot and they cost a lot. So, um, you know, to find a budget-friendly paint that works very, very well, um, then that's always a, a good option. And the basics I use quite often, uh, the Liquitex basics. I'm gonna go ahead and do the comparison for you. We'll see how they each perform. Um, as I'm going through this, the paper that I'm using, in case you all have questions, I'm sure you will. I'm using uh, mixed media, the 400 series. I'm using the white and the black. And the reason I'm using the black is to show you all the good coverage of the different paints, good or bad, so we'll find out. Um, I wanted to point out to you, because I didn't mention it, I don't believe, during um, you know the comparison, um, something that you want to look for is a little square on the, in the back of your paints, and it will tell you if a paint is opaque or if the paint is semi-opaque. I don't know if you can see it real well, but there's a little square there, and it's half and half. That means it's semi-opaque, and then you will see some that are completely filled in, and that means that it is opaque. Um, for instance, this is my well-used Windsor Newton Titanium White, and um, I think that the square, yeah, it shows the square there. It's a solid square. This is opaque. Also, a very important thing that I wanted to point out to you is uh, if you're concerned about paints and toxicity of paints, you will want to look for this little symbol, the AP symbol there. So that's very important. That lets you know that the paint is safe. The paints that were just uh, cadmium red, cadmium yellow, well, cadmium is actually toxic substance. So what they've done now is they create a hue of cadmium red medium. They're mixed together different and different pigments to create this hue. So how you know that the paint is not toxic? Well, you look for the AP, but also with the situation of the cadmium, we have the word hue after it. So it's cadmium red medium hue, cadmium red deep hue, cadmium yellow medium hue. So look for that hue as well and that indicates that the paint is also safe. Some paints actually spell it right out if you're painting with your kiddos and if you want to be very very careful and cautious about that always look for the AP and um, sometimes it just spells it right out and it'll say non-toxic but all right but if you find that AP then you know you should be safe and it's never a good idea for paint or anything to really sit and soak in too long in the hands, you know, wash up with soap and water and it'll come right off. Um, you know, kids do finger paintings and for finger paintings I like to use like craft paints and they usually state right on it. Uh, the tempura is real non-toxic, safe for kids, but um, you know, the craft smart paints are non-toxic and it'll just state right there in large letters, non-toxic and have the AP seal. So I think I covered everything. And um, I, a couple of nights ago, I did a comparison with my um, Windsor Newton Galleria and the uh, De La Rani System 3 myself to see how it covered. And it was very, very similar. But we're gonna go ahead and just start over because I wanted to compare it against um, the Golden, which is a very high-end paint and a very good professional paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
jump right into it with you guys. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you learned something. Let me know what you think. And if you have any questions or if you have anything you'd like to add, I appreciate it. Um, let's get started on the comparison. One more thing. <laughs> Just one more thing I'd like to add. Anything that I talk about today, um, if at all possible, uh, I will put links to all the different things that I'm using today, to the paper, from the paper to the different paints, and also even the paint brushes. I, the trans and paint brushes. Um, it's a really nice set of brushes. Uh, I'm just now finding out, you know, whether I like them or not. Um, I've used it only one time before this, so we'll see how it goes tonight. And um, I will have links below to everything possible. Um, if I can get a link to it, I will link it for you. So I look forward to doing this with you. Well, let's get started. We have Golden. We have Liquitex Basics. We have Windsor Newton Galleria. We have um, De La Rowney System 3. So, I in the red, they are different hues of red. These are both just red hue, cadmium red hue. This is cadmium red deep hue and cadmium red medium hue. Um, and then I'm going to do the thalo green. But in the thalo green, I have the golden, I have the basics, and I have the Windsor Newton. So I'm going to compare those in the green. In the dioxin purple, I have golden and basics. So I'm going to compare those two. So we get an idea. I have to say, before I even get started, I bought these golden products, paints, back when I went to the Ringling School of Art and Design, which was in 2006. So I have had these since then, and they still come out as smooth as if they were brand new. These are the golden, and look how beautiful they are. Absolutely beautiful. It's unbelievable to me that that is the way that it is. They're just fantastic, but they are expensive. So these are more reasonably priced. The De La Rani is the most expensive of the budget paints here, and the Basics is the least expensive. They're a more budget-friendly paint, but we're going to see how they perform next to the golden. All right. This is a new set of brushes that I have from Transin, and uh, so far I absolutely love how they are. They're so easy to clean. It's amazing. So I'm going to use this one today for our samples so I don't waste a ton of paint. Not that it's a waste doing these um, helpful tutorials, but we're going to do the best we can here with what we have on the palette. So I'm going to move these off to the side, and we're going to start a little demonstration here and see how these compare. Okay, so that is that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the red. I'm just going to put this off to the side now that you've seen it. And I'm going to start with the golden. And of course, like I said, this paint is so old, but it is absolutely beautiful. And on the package of Golden, it says if you need to thin, add water or an acrylic medium. Um, not even necessary, even as old as it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay this down here. And it's absolutely smooth. Is silk. Beautiful coverage, beautiful coverage. I'm going to add a tiny little bit of water and we're going to see how it performs with just a very, very thin, thinned out paint. Isn't that great? Now you could thin that down this paint performs just incredibly, honestly, but it, it is expensive, top notch. Um, I'm going to just make it almost like a glaze, just the tiniest little bit of red there, tiniest little bit of the paint with 
uh, with water, very watered down. So that's beautiful coverage, feels smooth and creamy. The light fastness is fantastic on this paint. So for this demonstration, I'm going to rinse and dry the brush off in between each paint, of course, but I'm not going to make you listen to me do it, so I'm going to cut those parts out. And now I'm going to pick up the Liquitex Basics. And just to show you the consistency of that, I mean, it is just very nice. This is a budget-friendly paint. Um, very, very nice. So we're going to go ahead and see the coverage of this. I'm going to go down here. Of course, these are different hues. This is um, a deep hue, cadmium, red, deep hue. So it has more of uh, blue undertones. It's very pretty. Very nice coverage. Um, it, I went both ways with my golden, so I'm going to be fair and go both ways with the basics. You can definitely tell that this paint is pigmented very nicely, as is, of course, the golden. It performs very well. I'm going to wipe off my brush and I'm going to add some water, thin it out, and I'm just going to see how that performs. Now I added a bit more water, and I'm going to add a little bit more of the paint, but water down. And then if I wanted to use it as a glaze, and I wanted to get it very, very watery and use it as a glaze, that would work very nice. Okay, so Tech Basics, which I do use a lot of that. And I like these brushes. They're really great. They rinse out good and then they just go right back. I mean, super nice so far. They're brand new to me. Okay, now I am doing the um, Windsor Newton Galleria acrylics. And you can see very creamy consistency. Very nice, smooth, creamy consistency. I'm going to take a nice little generous chunk of paint. And we're going to go right here. And we'll go across like we did. Very good coverage. Very nice, very smooth. I use a lot, Windsor Newton, rather, I use a lot of this as well with my paintings. But you see the coverage is very good. I'm going to add a little bit of water to that. And we're going to see how that performs there. Very nice. And now I'm going to add quite a bit more water and make a glaze with that. See how we do there. It performs very nicely. I like that the Windsor Newton um, as well as the Golden have the color swatch on their tubes. That's really good. So now we're going to do the De La Rowney System 3. These brushes rinse out very easily, dry up really nice. You can see how they would hold up well. So far I like this. This is the Transin. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of the De La Rowney System 3. Very creamy, a little bit thicker feeling to me than the Windsor Newton Galleria. Not quite as thick, of course, as the Golden. The Basics is um, about the same consistency. I think this is a bit thicker than the Basics and the Windsor Newton here in the red. So we're going to go ahead and see about this coverage. It goes on, feels actually very, very much like the Windsor Newton Galleria. The coverage is very nice, smooth as butter. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of water to that and see how that goes. And we'll put that right here. Very nice. Add a little 
little bit more water as if to make a glaze. I use glazing a lot in my portraitures, uh, my pet portraits. Um, it's a wonderful technique to add color without going over your details uh, or erasing your details. So there we have it. We have the golden, we have the basics, Liquitex Basics, Windsor Newton Galleria, and De La Rowney Systems 3. They all perform very nicely. This one's drying a little more transparent than the others. Um, the basics is golden is thick and smooth. Um, it you can see the brush strokes with the golden more so than with any of the other paints, uh, which can be a good thing. And it all depends on what you want to achieve in your paintings, but. They're all very nice. Um, I would say for the beginner, you know, these are very nice. Uh, you don't have to go as expensive as the golden. Um, I use these even in my pet portrait. I use Winsor Newton. I've used some basics. Um, I I find that they they perform very well, and um, as you can see, they all do perform very well. They are permanent colors, semi opaque. Um, yes, very good. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and do the same comparison with the phthalo green. And we're going to start with the golden. Same thing. Very nice. Smooth. Beautiful. Okay. Go ahead. I, I, this is, this has to, has to be one of my absolute favorite colors. I absolutely love this phthalo green. Beautiful. Beautiful coverage. This is the golden phthalo green. This is phthalo green blue shade. It's a heavy body paint. And uh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of water and see. And then I'm gonna add a bit more water, more like a glaze. Here I maybe added about that same amount of water. Very nice coverage. Golden is a, is a very, very nice paint. If you have the means to buy, you know, such an expensive paint, I'll, I'll tell you, <laughs> the way that it lasts, it's incredible. It's, it's absolutely incredible, honestly. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the basics, which is very, very creamy, all right? So we're going to go ahead and try that here. It feels nice and smooth and creamy. The coverage is good. Not as good as golden, but definitely, definitely covers well. I'm going to add a little bit of water. And then I'm going to add a bit more water as if to make a glaze. Almost looks like a nice watercolor. Nice coverage, very nice. Well, now we're going to go ahead and try um, the only other one that I have is the Windsor Newton. And this is so beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? I I'd say, honestly, in this thalo green, the Windsor Newton is very, very close to the way that the golden feels to me. So here we're going to go ahead and try that. And I do not have the green in the um, De La Rani, so this will be the last one that I'm going to demonstrate here. 
very nice coverage very very nice smooth and silky add a little bit of water to that one here that's fine so beautiful coverage on all of them smooth and silky we're going to go ahead and do this most beautiful color one of the most beautiful colors dioxin purple so this is the golden dioxin purple oh, so pretty i'm just going to put that one down here because i have this little space oh that that coverage is amazing i'm going to add a little bit of water to that So beautiful. And then, I'm sorry about my dog huffing. There's been a thunderstorm and he's been kind of upset. So there's the dogs in purple with a lot of water. So pretty, isn't it? And now I'm going to do the basics dioxin purple. And let's check out this. This is the basics. Very, very nice see how this performs. I just thought you might like to see this because not a lot, not everyone can afford to go buy the golden. Nice. Can you see the difference in the coverage? This just went on. It almost, it's so dark and so covers so well that it almost looks black but it is not black and it, it dries beautiful like a dark 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 vivid purple and if you add a little titanium white to that dioxin purple it's um, gorgeous I could show you that let's do a little with water and we'll do a little with a lot more water, just like a glaze. Very pretty. It is the same uh, dioxin purple, um, but the pigment in the golden is stronger. Over here, I'm just going to do the red. We're going to see on the black how the red performs. This is the golden. I'm not going to do all the... Um, but with the water and all that, the glazes. We'll just see how that covers. See the coverage on the black? Now that's the golden. Beautiful coverage. So now I'm going to take the basics red. I'm going to see how that performs on the black. Nice, nice coverage. This is the Windsor Newton. I might have had a little bit of too much water in there. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit more of the paint. Yeah, I left that a little bit too watery. And as this dries a little bit, we'll be able to see, you know, the coverage. And now I'm going to go down here and do the daily rounding. That actually, I, I may have to put a little bit more out of my tube because there was a bit of water there. Yeah, I might have to go ahead and, and get a little more out of my tube to really demonstrate to you the coverage here on the black. But actually, I'm gonna, we're gonna do that because that, um, that wasn't fair. That was not a fair example. Okay, so let's, let's cross that one out. And we're gonna do this without all that water that was over there on the palette. Totally fair to each 
brand. Now, now we're going to put it on here. We'll go down. We'll just bring it right here. But actually, still right out of the tube, the coverage is on this black is not as easily covered as, of course, the golden. The basics covered better than that as well. The um, Windsor Newton, this one is X'd out, so that was a lot of water. I would say, though, um, let me see, I'm going to put one more. Yeah, you see, you would need a couple of, few more coats of this paint to get the coverage that you would need. But um, I would say they're pretty equal in coverage. Um, the basics actually had better coverage over the black than Windsor Newton Galleria and De La Rowney. Um, golden is fantastic, but overall, these are really beautiful paints. Um, here, as it's drying, the the Windsor Newton is a, a bit more transparent than the others. The red did really white, not really well on the white. Um, the basics coverage is great. I'm going to go ahead and add this white so that you can see how beautiful this is. So you have a lighter purple, of course, with the white, and the coverage is very, very nice. You see that? This paint, look at that, how fast acrylic paint dries. They're all nice and dry already. The coverage is great. The coverage is great with the basics, Liquitex. Um, very nice, everything is very nice. So the conclusion of our comparison demo today is that Golden is really top notch and the winner, but we were comparing budget friendly paints to Golden. So I say honestly, the performance of, of the Windsor Newton Galleria, the Liquitex Basics and the De La Rowney are all really great. I think I favor um, Windsor Newton Galleria. I think it's, I just love the way that it goes on smooth, the coverage is good, um, it, the pigments are there, they last. The Golden, of course, has more pigment in it. It's brighter and more vivid than any of the budget-friendly paints, but I find that the, they have plenty of pigment in them, all three of these paints. I like how this goes on. I like the smooth finish. I like it has like a, a shiny, glossy sort of finish, just like the golden does. Um, the basics on the white is very matte, but if you're using it on canvas, you're gonna varnish over your paintings. That's just fine as well. And the basics works terrific. All of these have a wonderful array of colors to choose from. They're good. The performance is good. The only time I've ever used the De La Rani acrylic paint is on the demo I did the, the other day and then on the demo I did for you. And on the demo the other day was that I got my new box of uh, Galleria and then of the System 3 De La Rani and I did a comparison. And I found that they were very, very close. The transparency of the yellow in the De La Rani wasn't quite, I mean, was much more so than in the um, Windsor Newton, but that's not really a problem. You're gonna need yellow, tra more of a transparent yellow paint from time to time. For instance, if you're doing a, just sort of a glaze, it works wonderful for watering it down a bit and using it as a glaze. Um, it also works wonderful for putting highlights into water like if you're doing an ocean scene or a river scene or the sun shining in the sky to have a little bit of that in the clouds um, it works great and to make it more opaque you can always add the white which is what I demonstrated over here on both of them so it really is a very wonderful product um, they're all very very nice I like how they you know they dried 
and looking at the chart today, um, I'm seeing that, that the basics dries with more of a matte finish. So I'm sorry for this, I, I ripped my paper when I was taking it off. But anyway, um, with the golden, it's very shiny and you can really see the texture. In the other paints, you can see the texture as well. Um, but in the basics, it's more of a flat matte and these are also less shiny than the Winsor Newton, but you're, you're going to varnish over your paintings before you send them off to a customer. So the fact that that's matte isn't really going to matter, in my opinion, um, and maybe you'll enjoy the matte. And they're not, they're not completely matte. The basics is quite a bit. Um, and yet, when I did the basics on the black, it has a shine to it. You see? Now this one we crossed out because I had that too watered down. But um, these all are performed really well for coverage. Um, I really liked how the basics covered on the black and um, you know, even more so than the Windsor Newton and the De La Rani when it came to coverage over the black. But that doesn't pose a problem either. I feel like all three of them are comparable and very good. Now. Next, after Golden, De La Rowney is uh, the more expensive of the three budget paints that I've tested today. And then next would be Windsor Newton Galleria and then the basics. So, but I feel like you'll be happy with any of them. And if you're just starting out, basics is fantastic. It has a great array of color. I think you'll really enjoy it and you'll be happy with your artwork. And then you may one day decide that you want to go ahead and get the Golden. Even though the tube is a bit more expensive, it lasts forever. Um, and if you're careful with the amount that you use and not just glob it on the palette, sometimes I put too much paint on my palette and it goes to waste. Um, even though what I do now is I just cover it with plastic wrap, really good tight sealing plastic wrap and it holds pretty well. I, I hate to waste the paint. And the brushes that I used, I, I used the Filbert brush um, and it performed so well. It cleans up so nicely. These nylon bristles just clean up great. They're like brand new. I love the handle. It's not going to get cracked and chipped. It's like a nice coating on this handle. It's really great. Um, you get a couple of different flat brushes. You get three different filbert brushes, three different angle brushes. You get a rigger brush and then a couple more detail brushes. You have uh, two round brushes. They're really nice little budget-friendly brushes and I'll have links to all these in the description below. I hope that this was helpful to you all. Please leave a comment if you have anything you'd like to share besides what I talked about. Great. If you have any questions, let me know. Please leave a thumbs up because when you do that, it helps YouTube to push my videos out so others can benefit from them. And I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and join me for another video soon. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy painting everyone. Stay safe and stay healthy. Bye-bye.